We only have 15 minutes, so let's get started right away. Find your 100 position. You can keep your feet on the floor. You can bring the knees to tabletop or extend them in diagonal. Once you have your leg position, lift your head, neck, and shoulders, reaching your arms long out. And we start with an inhale, just taking those arms up and down with long arms. Try not to break at the wrist and exhale five counts. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Really use the breath to help increase the blood flow in your body, warming yourself up. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Here's five, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and six, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, five, and eight, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and nine, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, last one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and five. Bring your knees into the chest, and you're going to take your feet flat on the mat for your roll-up. If you can extend the legs, Go right into it. We'll do four repetitions of this exercise. Keeping the arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. We take our inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift your head, your neck, your shoulders. Roll up through your spine and reach over your legs, pulling back through the abdominals. Keep the arms by your ears. Inhale, starting your roll back. Exhale, release, touching each bone of your vertebrae down onto the mat. Again, inhale to repair. Exhale, lift. Controlling the lift as well as controlling as you lower. Inhale to reverse the movement. Beautiful. Last one, last two. Inhale. Exhale, roll yourself up. Try to think about reaching the top of the crown towards the feet, pulling back through the abdominals. Feel that nice stretch in the hamstrings while also working our core. Last one, inhale, exhale, and reach over the legs and come back one bone at a time. Nice and slowly release. Moving on to single leg circles, but let's take a little stretch first. I'm going to wrap my arms behind that leg, extend the leg up, and bend. A little shaky today for myself, not stretching as much as I should. And one more, I know you might feel the same way as well. Just give a little flex and point, and flex to deepen the stretch in the hamstring and point. Now, I'm going to release the hands by my side putting pressure in the palms and forearms of the hands. I also want to find some external rotation in my hip joint, and I lower the leg down on the inside of that left leg, exhale up on the right. We inhale, exhale, lift. Now here, you want to make sure your hips stay grounded. You don't want to rock side to side, so if you feel like you're doing that, make the circle small or slower. Reverse, lower on the right, exhale, up on the left. Keep going, down on the right, exhale, up on the left. And one more. And we'll lower the right leg to the floor. Left leg draws into the chest. Hook your arms underneath the leg, behind the leg. Extend three times and bend wherever your range of motion will allow. If the leg doesn't go fully straight, no worries, maybe another day. Hold it there, flex the foot, feel the calf stretch deepen, and point, and flex, and point. One more, flex, and point. Release the arms by your side. Turn out from that hip, find that external rotation in that hip joint. We inhale, lower down on the inside of the right leg, exhale, up on the left. Imagine you've got seat belts across your hip bones, so there's no wiggling side to side. 
using your breath to assist in the movement. Remember to go to your range of motion and reverse. Inhale, lower on the right, exhale, up on the left, on the right. Inhale, lower on the right, exhale, up on the right. I'll get my words right one of these days. Last two. And one. Good. From here, bend that left knee into the chest. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Take your right hand towards the ankle. Lift that right knee. Let it hover. You're lifting your head, neck, and shoulders if you can. Elbows are wide. Single leg stretch goes pulse, pulse on that left knee. Pulse, pulse on the right. We inhale. We exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. From here, knees are in tabletop. We inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, sweep around. Inhale, arms and legs on the diagonal. Exhale, sweep. Two more. Inhale, arms and legs. Exhale, sweep. Last one. Inhale, arms and legs. Exhale, sweep. Hands come behind the head. Separate the knees slightly. And let's go to our crisscross elbow to knee. And switch other elbow to knee. Little flow. Reach. Reach. Try to think of the armpit coming across. Trying to not allow the knee to come in towards the elbow, but the elbow reaching towards the knee. We've got four more. Three. Two. And one. And bring those knees back to center. Give a little squeeze, rock side to side. Let's roll ourselves up. And extend the legs nice and long in front of you, about the width of the mat. So go to the corners, reach those arms nice and long. Find those sit bones, lengthen you up through the spine. We inhale for spine stretch. Exhale, try to reach over a big uh, beach ball or something. And then come back, sit up nice and tall. So you want to imagine something round right in front of you. You're going up and over. Inhale again. Exhale, reach. Inhale, come back. Sit up nice and tall. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Bring the feet together. The arms stay where they are. We inhale, lengthen through that spine. Exhale, open one arm to the side. Try to find that rotation. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale back to center. And one more time on each side, rotating in the ribs, in the sternum, but not in the pelvis. So ground through those hips and back to center. Separate the legs back to the corners of the mat. One more time, reach those arms to the side for our saw. Now we twist just like we did in the last exercise, but take this hand and reach to the outside pinky toe with your pinky finger. Give a little pulse, two, three, and lift, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, twist, reach pinky finger to pinky toe, and try and soft with a little pulse, two, three, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, twist, reach, and pulse. Two, three, lengthen through that spine. Exhale, twist, reach, pulse. Two, three, sit up nice and tall. Arms come by your side. Feet come together and we roll ourselves down nice and slowly. From here, let's take our knees into that tabletop position. We lift the legs up to the ceiling, reaching those fingers nice and long. We'll do our corkscrew prep. So with both heels together, we lower both legs down on the right. Exhale, up on the left. Then reverse, lower on the left. Exhale, up on the right. Your hips are going to stay anchored into the mat. Again, imagine that seatbelt across your hip bones. And you're going one way and then the other. Very good. Let's bring the feet down to the mat, and we're going to turn all the way over 
onto our bellies for some extension work. Now, if you have tight lower back, separate the feet so they're the width of the mat. If not, you can bring the feet together. Just make sure you don't feel any crunch in that lower spine. Arms are going to be by your shoulders. This is swan. So we're going to lift ourselves up as far as you can and lower, drawing the abdominals up. Good. Again, pressing up and lowering down. Last one, draw the abdominals up as you lift and lower. Let's go into single leg kick. So elbows going to come down onto the mat. I'm going to clasp my hands together or make the number 11 with my forearms. My feet come together, my abdominals are lifted, and I take one foot and I point to the seat. I flex to the seat. I point and release. Left foot goes point, flex, point and release. Right foot goes point, flex, point and release. Left goes point, flex, point and release. Double leg kick. Lay one cheek down, hands come behind the head, and we kick three times. One, two, three. Extend the arms, lift the chest, lift the legs, lower them up the other direction. Kick three times. One, two, three. Lift and extend. Look the other way. Kick three times. One, two, three. Lift and extend. Last one. Lower. Look the other way. Kick three, two, one. Lift and extend. Hold. Release the hands. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Lay down. Hands come by your shoulders. Sit. Back in child's pose. All right, a quick side leg series, side leg series. Bring both feet to the front corner of your mat. Lie from hips to head on the back of your mat. Take your top hand right in front of your belly. Top leg comes slightly off the bottom and a little kick, kick, squeeze to the back. And two more, kick, kick, Squeeze, last one, kick, kick, and squeeze. Feet together, find the external rotation, heels together, toes apart. Point through that foot, kick up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Flex up, flex up. Point down, flex up. Point down, flex up. Point down, flex up. Point down, little circles with that top leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's take the legs to the other side. I want to go quick so we can get a teaser in here before our time is up. Find your Position with the legs on the diagonal and the upper body on the back of your mat. A slight lift from that top leg and a little pulse. Pulse forward, squeeze to the back without letting that upper body move. Draw that navel to spine, keep that bottom oblique lifted. Last one. Good. Feet together. Find that turnout. Point up. Flex down. Point up. Flex down, point up, flex down, one more, point up, flex down, reverse, flex up, point down, flex up, point down, flex up, point down, last one, flex up, point down, and circles, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, reverse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Let's turn over onto our back. We'll finish with some teaser and see if we can get there. Bring the feet really close together. Knees together, feet together. Arms come up to the ceiling. We'll start with our teaser prep. We take an inhale to prepare, just like in the roll-up. Exhale, lift yourself up. You're rounding 
positive here, and then you want to extend through that spine, lengthen through that spine. Find that C curve and roll yourself down. Now, progressing, we can move into tabletop. Again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, roll up, trying to keep the lower half still as it can be, and lift that chest, lift that heart. Round through the spine, roll back, trying to leave the legs nice and still where they are. From here, extending, progressing, extending the legs, progressing even further, the legs will go out on the diagonal. Arms will come behind you. Draw that navel to spine. Try to knit those ribs together. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Extend through that spine. And then scoop and roll back. Nice and slow. I haven't done these in a while, everybody. And we'll take our arms around. Grab our knees to the chest. Rock side to side. Let's roll ourselves up and we'll finish with this seal. Take your hands, thread them through and to the outside of the ankle so that the feet come together and the knees are wide. Drop that chin to chest, scoop in the abdominals. You roll back just to the base of the shoulders, clap, clap, clap the feet together. Exhale up and clap, clap, clap. Let's float. Inhale back, clap, clap, clap. Exhale up. Clap, clap, clap. Two more. Rolling back. Clap, clap, clap. Exhale up. Clap, clap, clap. Last one. Rolling back. Clap, clap, clap. And exhale up and clap, clap, clap. Take the feet. Cross one in front of the other. Wherever that might be comfortable for you. Lengthen through that spine. Find those sit bones. And to finish, let's take one. Inhale through the nose. Bring the hands together. Exhale through the mouth. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you very soon. Bye, everybody.